off the crunch here we go then for the Stairs Handicap first of all. A four or five race card from Cranji. Big races to come up later. There's a two mile, three furlong, 0 to 80 handicap. My favourites. Hammer and Anvil at the top for Joshua Sutherland. Six fields. Martin Leadham, Edge Radamond, Athena, Matt Cooper. And Alex Cherry's got the bottom pair. Captain Paddy and Confidant Footsie. No Graham Clutterbuck in a two mile, three furlong race. What's going on? Perhaps he can't find his passport. Anyway, we're all installed and ready to go. And away we go. And Hammer and Anvil was quickly out. If you can be quickly out in a two mile, three furlong race, I'm not sure how many times round the track they've got to go, but surely this course is not that tight. It might be on that inside one, the all weather one. I think it'll probably be two circuits. And it's Confidant Footsy who's in the lead by two lengths. Alex Cherry's blue cap game. Interesting to see. You see some of people's separate games. Craig Beckwith is not in this game. He's got one game where he's called Craig Beckwith and one game where he's called C Beckwith. That's how you can tell with that one. And possibly Alex Cherry's got two separate games, running one with a blue cap, one with an orange cap. But as you all know, you can change your colours mid season anyway, so maybe he just changes it now and again. I don't know how I do that with mine because I play a combined game for anybody who's interested and I have the purple and white stripes in the summer or the flat racing and then I change to the red run colours in November for the jumps racing but as you may have spotted sometimes I forget or I do it too soon and I end up with them in the wrong place so sometimes you see the purple and white stripes over the jumps and you see that more often than you see the red run colours on the flat to be fair Anyway, enough waffle. They got rid of the first mile or so of the race. And Confidant Footsie is about eight lengths clear of the rest of them, possibly even ten. The rest of them are virtually alone with the exception of Sixfields, who is the back marker. But he's now coming up to possibly join that line. Confidant Footsie is well clear. The lead has been halved, though, I would say. As they come up the straight, and presumably they'll be passing the winning post shortly. Yep, there's the furlong pole. I'll pass the winning post and then hit out for a complete circuit of the Cranji track. Confidant Footsie is four lengths clear from Athena in second, who's got three lengths on Hammer and Anvil. And the grey captain Paddy on the inside is Edge, and on the outside is Six Fields. I can tell you six fields has got absolutely nothing to do with the Northampton Town Football Stadium, which is only about 12 or 15 miles away from where I live, to be fair. But it's nothing to do with it at all. It's just called six fields because it's down what's called five fields. So there you go. With a piece of pointless information. And the trainer at the back, a U2 fan. Let's hope not. Anyway, it's Confidant Footsy in the lead from Hammer and Anvil in second. Then Athena is third, Sixfields is fourth, and Captain Paddy and Edge are next. As they come down towards the final five furlongs, the leader being scrubbed along there. Hammer and Anvil looks to be travelling exceptionally well. Then in third place comes Athena, Sixfields on that one's outside is creeping closer. Then Captain Paddy and then Edge is the back marker. Captain Paddy being pulled out for a bit of a run as they start the turn towards home with four furlongs to go and Hammer and Anvil has crept into the lead from Confidant Footsie who's been pushed along, Sixfields is back in third, then Athena is in fourth, Edge is fifth and then Captain Paddy is the back marker, so these extreme stairs in two mile three furlong jobs and Hammer and Anvil has kicked on there and has suddenly put a bit of daylight between himself and the remainder. Six fields. He's back in second. Confidant Footsie is now beaten. The other three are just starting to get going. But I think it might be a little bit too late. It could be good night Vienna time because Hammer and Anvil is well clear with a little more than a furlong to go. The rest of them are chasing. I would suggest in vain because Hammer and Anvil doesn't look like he's got to stop. And he's well clear on six fields. He's not that quick but stays longer than the mother in law as Jim McGraw would say. And Hammer and Anvil is going to take this one. Six fields will go around again in second, and then Athena is third, Captain Paddy fourth, Edge fifth. And that was a pretty uneventful.
Kranji Stairs race, but Joshua sort of the white mind, he won that one pretty cosily, sneaking in in a good way. I'm sure that will be looking for one of those long distance races at Ascot next week. Hopefully it gets weighted out of the ones that I can get in. Anyway, Hammer and Hanfield's taking it for Joshua Sutherland. Six fields was second for Martin Leadham. Then third was a feeder for Matt Cooper. Captain Paddy for Alex Cherry was fourth. And Edge for Adam Old was fifth. 